Uh, welcome everyone, episode 3 of the Wise, Wise, and the Wises. It's your boy Vontae, Mr. Mr. Buckets44, and all Swish. that you dig. All the, mm. 17 nicknames, all in the one. But anyway, uh, here's here's my boy uh, Blue. Yes sir, uh, aka Mr. Parsnips Langford, aka Mr. Parsnips, aka the Serial God, aka Mr. Al7, etc, etc, Willy Wonka of the game. All, all that jive. And uh, here goes my my cousin, Mr. X Video Special Now. Video, aka Mr. Future Family Ball State Corner Corner Company. Now, back in 2015, college season, I was smashing 15, 15, 15. No, no, I'm just there. Shout out to everybody. Are you? BBW. Yay. We love BBWs. For anyway, yeah, this is the Wise, Wise, and Wises. And this episode three, like I'm saying. So, I mean, let's get this show on the road. So, you know, as usual, who wants to start first? <clears throat> Vontae and or Scobie, either one of y'all can go first. Because I can tell you right now, over this birthday weekend, I ain't thought about shit. So, y- either one of y'all can go first. See, it, it get, get that birthday head. I see, that birthday head. See, no can't think straight. <laughs> exactly. I plead the fifth. That's all I needed. We'll kick it off first. I never talk to kick it off first. You, you, oh, you want to kick it off, Cody? Um, again, with the team, young dude, right. and Parsons, I have birthday, and you know, God bless this world. We are going to do so. That's very good to you. Um, you know, and, and I guess my first question is, and I can't remember, it's going to be kind of a, a emotional, but I hope it's going to be a question. Is, uh, do you think it is certain people, let me say girls and females, and have you ever been to yourself? That you've been overlooked because overlooked in a, in a way is most girls go for the popular guys instead of going for the guy who truly true, tries to see them for who they are, or vice versa with girls. Have y'all, have y'all ever experienced that? Have y'all ever seen, you know, I know y'all probably seen it. Have you ever went through yourself or have you ever met a girl who's overlooked and wasn't seen like the out, you know, she wasn't seen for her interviews? Out of out of oh, blue. I, I, I didn't even hear the question. So, <clears throat> if you if oh, let, say the question to me one more time, or Vontae, you tell me the question, then I'll go first. It, that's no problem with me. Yeah, oh, okay, I'll for you. I'm uh, no, no, just saying, have you ever. You, you can hear Hold on, I'm sorry. Cause. Yeah, I can hear him now. You can hear him, Blue? Oh, okay, my okay. bad. My, my mic close to my, my mouth. But uh, uh, as I was saying, uh, have you ever known somebody? I mean, I guess you have you ever met a girl who was overlooked by like a lot of guys because she didn't look a certain look like the baddest chick, or have you ever been uh, been that yourself where you overlooked by a certain girl because we didn't have a certain quality, we didn't have a certain certain look factor, or being you know thuggish is a lot of girl home a lot of thugs. Have you ever been in that situation? Have you ever seen a girl who's overlooked for another girl because she didn't look as good, but she had everything on the inside that mattered the most? Hmm. Very, very great question. Great question. Well, <coughs> so, 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 so. now, in the words of Silky, yeah. Silky has always had a keen eye for the opposite sex. And with that being said, all my women have been dimes. Some, 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 some. Okay, but seriously though, seriously though, <laughs> uh, I honestly, man, um, when it, when it comes to any woman I've ever dated, I have never been a just straight. I'm going for the looks every single time. I'm never been that type of person. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't. My eyes don't deceive me. If you, if a woman is beautiful, of course I notice that. But that's not something. That's not one of the high things I try to keep in regard. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be beautiful on the outside, and then of course you can be ugly as hell on the inside. So, <clears throat> first thing I always look for is that they can make me laugh, and if they're smart, that's my two main things. If you can make me laugh and you smart, you 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 pretty much you you already on the on the on the fast track. You on the on the right track. You know now. Now, as far as have I overlooked any women because they miss a certain attribute or a certain thing, whatever? 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, yes. I have to feel like every person has done it. You know, every person has done it at some point. Like, everybody is different. Every person is different. Everybody has something that they're looking for or something that they like. You know, and even though you may be setting your, you may be too set in your ways to try to see something that's different. You know, because I've dated a woman or whatever. It's like, she got this, this, and this. But the one, one thing I'm looking for, she don't have, she don't have it. You know, and that's my fault because I'm too focused on those two or three things or those main things that I like in that person that I'm overlooking other things that are very important to me. You know, or she may have one thing that I like or whatever, but then she don't have no other qualities that I go for. You know, it's real easy. It's real easy, especially nowadays, to overlook a lot, uh, overlook people just for the simple fact this whole ratchet generation, this whole twerking thing or whatever. This whole, this whole, <laughs> my bad, man, my girl in the background tripping, but uh, this whole, <laughs> this whole, you know, this whole, this whole new generation or whatever, and it's not even including y'all, you know what I'm saying, but just all this outrageous stuff or this over the top kind of stuff, it's like, that's taking over, it's not, it's, no, it's not like it was back in the day where you meet somebody, oh, hey, how you doing, my name is such and such, how are you, okay, I'm fine, my name is such and such, you know, I like doing this, and what do you like doing, stuff like that, it don't happen like that no more. It's easy. It's to the point now where you can get on Twitter and you could be like, hey, what that mouth do? And you'll get a million responses. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, honestly, man, I, I've overlooked I've overlooked women. You know, it's been it's been I've been overlooked a million times myself. I don't look at myself as no I look at myself as egotistical. I don't look at myself as cocky. I don't look at myself like that at all. Like if a woman thinks I'm pretty or beautiful or whatever or they like the way I speak and all other stuff, it's basically a thank you. I don't feel that way personally, but thank you. And it's not to say I'm down on myself or self deprecating or anything like that. It's just like, okay, I know what I know what I am. I know I'm me, but it's like I don't let that get to my head to the point where nobody can see the qualities that I possess. You get what I'm saying? Because a, a, a case in point is Kanye West. Can he first came out, dude, nice. You can obviously tell dude dude got skills. He's a rapper, producer, all that. He had the total package. Now, somewhere down the road, this nigga lost his mind. Cause nowadays he ain't nothing but he ain't nothing but ego, basically. It's like people it's like it's it's taken away from his craft. It's taken away from his art. Because that's all the only thing people are focusing on is the fact that he has that ego. Now Kanye always had an ego, but it's really out there now. Like he has an extreme ego. He's at these shows now with a mask on, just yelling for like 30, 45 minutes, not performing no songs. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like you do that, you're doing that so much, it's like nobody wants to pay attention to you. All that all they seeing you for is an ego or they see that you are an asshole, you know, and, and so forth and so forth. You know, I wish it wasn't that way, but in some in certain cases, people bring it on themselves. It's like you put so much emphasis on I got a nice body or I got a nice chest and all this other stuff or I'm a stripper or I twerk and all this other stuff that to where no that's the only the only thing people want to see you for. Nobody wants to know if you went to school. Nobody wants to know if you graduated college. Nobody cares to know what your favorite movie is or what makes you laugh. All this other stuff. Nobody cares. They just see you for that one thing. You know, it's like people. You got to be more diverse with certain stuff because if you just stay focused on one main thing, that's what people are gonna see you for. Like. But in my case, I even give, uh, use myself as an example. Like, certain people call me antisocial. Like, if I'm out somewhere, for the most part, if it's somebody I don't know, or if I'm around a lot of people, just depending on the vibe I get from people, I won't say too much. And it's not even to say I'm antisocial. It's just like, if I'm not really saying too much, depending on the crowd I'm around or the people I'm around, it's probably one main thing, which basically is I don't I probably don't like you or probably don't want to speak to you. That's all it really is, you know, and I, I got to try to change that because in certain issues, I can be antisocial. But in other places or whatever, I, I could talk up a storm or whatever. And we me and whoever I'm around, we'll laugh and all that other stuff. You know, I try to I got to be more better about the antisocial thing because I don't keep a I don't keep a large circle. I really hardly have, I hardly have a circle of people. Or friends or whatever so and that don't that doesn't bother me at all but I don't want people to see me and I'm so quiet to the point they think I'm antisocial or I think I'm above them you know because the only thing they're gonna be looking at me as is like oh he anti or whatever he antisocial he don't really want to say too much he think he above us and that's not the case at all you know 
and then talking to people is like a, a forgotten art because you got so much social media and you got so much things going on on this internet to where nobody really wants to talk face to face anymore you can say whatever you want to on twitter facebook instagram all this other stuff but in person you wouldn't say none of the stuff that you're saying you know just to just to make the long story a exactly gangster. exactly anyway. it's like i can go on youtube right now no matter what video i'm searching for i can guarantee you the first comment is probably somebody talking shit for no reason no for no reason at all a exactly cares. stupid stuff like that because they can say that through the social media because they ain't got to face that person but if you saying that on youtube or whatever the, if i see that comment the first thing i'm gonna look at you as is you know either racist or you a bitch basically so and that's probably not even them at the core of them. They probably just saying that to probably think they cool or whatever the case may be. Just to make a long story short, have I look, overlooked a woman before? Yes, I have on more than one occasion. Have I been looked over on more than one occasion? Do I feel like it'll change as far as just in general, as far as society goes? Only time will tell. But the way society is going right now with this twerking and all this other stuff or whatever, I honestly don't see it happening because. When y'all see, matter of fact, I, I asked y'all the question within my answer to y'all. Kim Kardashian, first word to come to your mind. Thank you. The court, the court rest. <laughs> court is adjourned. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to say it that way, but she, she, she doesn't seem like a very well, t well put together young lady. That's the better term. That's the, polit the politically correct term to use. I, I, mean, well, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, that that was basically my answer, man. So Vante, I will go ahead and take it away, sir. Uh, well, okay, for me, pfft, uh, all that and some, but, um, uh, okay, I say for the, for the female overlooking me, I mean, shit, definitely, because I even say just elementary in a way, like, yeah, because I probably could have went with, uh, some females, but, you know, in a way I didn't want to, or either, yeah, either I didn't want to, they overlooked me, or I wasn't confident in myself, because, and the reason why I said I wasn't confident because, you know, up until like uh, fifth, I'm just like, yeah, after fifth grade, you know, I was kind of a pudgy kid. So I was, I was confident. I was cool with people and everything like that. But actually going out with, going out with uh, people, nah, that shit wasn't happening. But then in sixth grade, you got a little confidence. Like some girls are coming to me like, oh, now you mm -hmm. want to come to me now. Come when I get that four pack and shit. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Mm -hmm. A, a, a brother gotta have gotta had the looks to get y'all attention, even though I got something in my brain. Even even I am in fifth grade, I got something in my brain. But okay, so I got overlooked so many times. Even sixth grade, I got overlooked sometimes too. But it was less. It kept on it kept on deteriorating from from there on in. But because I even said like fifth grade, it was this new girl that I kind of liked. And, you know, one time I just said, fuck it. I asked her, you know, uh, do you like me or like that? Like, nah, we, nah, I mean, we just, we just be cool. We just be friends, things like that. I mean, I wasn't hurt by it because I was trying to ask her questions about she likes so-and-so. She or she go out with so-and-so asking her that, you know, nah, things like that. It's just, I'm doing me, you know, all that, all that bull, whatever like that. Then sixth grade, like I said, like I'm getting... I'm getting shit out the worst because I even say this one instance. It was this one one female, and she let's just say she blossomed earlier than everyone else. If you get what if you ah, get my drink. indeed. It, she so she blossomed quicker than I was in and I was in fifth grade. So sixth grade it's a little bit more, but sixth grade I I want to ask you this question because I kind of still know her. She's a little Facebook friend. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It, it it was you know it was an instance. Sometimes we in class and this one and and I I knew what this meant, but I didn't know what this meant. Like sometimes the teacher <laughs> the teacher is 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 reading to the class or something like that. And 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 mind you, 
like where my desk is, like that's basically where the teacher is. So both of be, being a girl is like basically right there with the teacher, but she can't see shit. But um, the the, the uh, what was it? The female like rubbing on my leg and things like that. Like hold on, motherfucker, what you trying to do? What you rubbing on my leg for? Like okay, you know sixth grade, I ain't know nothing about it because you know I'm 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 new I'm new to this girl tip so. She she went on my leg and trying to do things like that. I'm like, okay, what well, well, whatever. So, I and it was other instances with other females as well. But but to turn it to the other thing, have I look have a, have I overlooked females? Yes, because like I'm saying, like sixth grade and um and uh, uh in elementary and uh, high school, I overlooked some. We know about one of them. I overlooked some because like one was like uh, eighth grade graduation. All of a sudden, this girl wants to start talking to me. I ain't really paying no attention. And eventually, towards the end, I paid her attention. And I probably could have uh, got some kisses and things like that. But it was too late because we graduated. So I really couldn't get nothing Damn. out of that. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we kept in contact like that here and there. But uh, we we lost that. So, you know, that. And, uh, well, what, what else? Um... I mean, yeah, definitely high school, cause it was like four or five of them. I was like four or five of them, three of them, three or four. Of them, I was cool with, very cool with, and things like that. Cause I'm always been a, always been a people person, and people always talk to me and things like that. I always been, always in the middle because I, I'm like in between that quote unquote geeky side and cool side. So I was, I was always with both sides. So it's whatever. We can talk about, we can talk about Pokemon and all that things like that, and then we can talk about. Michael Jordan and Kobe and things like that, the same, you know, on, on, on the other side. So I mean, cool with that. But I guess, the, and, the, and the third question is the, uh, like, if, is it gonna ever gonna change? In a way, uh, as long as, as long as you get these Tatianas, let's just say it that way, Tatianas, still not pay attention to, stop paying attention to, uh to uh james the smart kid that get that get a 3.8 with with the, with the dorky ass uh with the dorky glasses that kind of they got them big googly eyes you know you know on tv had, had one of them if she, if if she if tatiana don't don't pay attention to james ever that's like right now they ain't never gonna change because that's been going on since 1967 and it's gonna happen until 2000 no i ain't no, twenty one hundred forty eight. That's how long that's gonna last. That's how long that's gonna last. So that's pretty much never gonna change. So, yep. Mm -hmm. This is what. Yep. This is the way. That's the way life is. Take it as it mm -hmm. is. So, I never liked you anyway, Tatiana. I, I heard some <laughs> things. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it is true. I mean, I agree with uh Social media makes it like that way too as well, cause you do get those girls like you said, you big at one point, and next thing you know, uh, you get full pack, and they're like, "Oh, let me talk to Queenie now." And, um, you know, and, you know, it is like that. Like for me, I guess it's like because I see that situation. It's like, yeah, I know it's over a lot. Oh, the time, like. You know, is it a person I looked over before? Yeah, and I was credit. And I can be reminded because, you know, I had somebody in my life. I get crooks in the background. Yeah, I'm living, I live in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to say that. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Mike is picking up all that stuff. Um, I'm about to pick up everything. God, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's like, uh, at one point, you know, I go through that same thing while, you know, I'm sitting there. And, uh, you know, uh, and and when I met this girl, she was like, she was younger. Like, she was young. She was about, she, I was about 17, she was about 16. One thing I did when I turned 18, I'm like, damn, she's still 16. I'm like, nah, I ain't been, that's what. But, uh, you know, it was like, we were like, you're behind each other. But, I think at the same point, it was just like, I was in a sense that, uh, that I left her alone because I was, you know, it was just like, 
man, she she, she wasn't all. It wasn't like I, I was so attracted to the, the, the nicer girls. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like I couldn't, you know, uh, I couldn't get my mindset off that that's what I was grown, you know, raised off of. You know, the baddest chick is the one you're supposed to fight for. You know, they say you need a nerd chick. I love chicks who are nerds, though. She don't gotta be, because if I got a right of girl, my girlfriend, my, my better half, that, that means I'm not really in love with her. You know, what your, what your girlfriend is, 10 or 11? She is, I mean, to me, she, she is who she is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been over this world. I don't put myself out there. I'm on them into it with you know who. And, you know, you always get that raw end of the sticks. You know, like I said, good dads always finish last, but we always finish strong. You know what I'm saying? If I'm, and I'm happy that I was friends on in that situation. I'm like, shit, now you find out everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, yeah, I did that. But now it's like, I see it myself now. You know, where a certain girl, she's not the best girl in the world, and she's not the uh, top, um, you know, top chick, a model chick, and all that other stuff. Um, but she's just like, yeah, she, she is, she's sweet, she's nice. A lot of cats won't probably go for because she's not, you know, as y'all say, she's, uh, you know, she's not thought, I guess you say thought worthy, as I may say. So, you know, she, if she don't twerk, she don't go get weed and, and, and press on nails and all that. Just come in as a regular person. I think that's what attracts me to a girl like that. It could just be as real and just down home. She don't beg for attention. You know, she knows how to work on her own and work for herself. So, you know, at, that, at the same time, it's just like, I appreciate it enough like that. So a strong black woman can stand on her own two feet and, and say, hey, this is me. This is who I am. I don't got to wear all this shit to be accepted. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to work a certain way. I don't got to wish to be light skinned. And all that other stuff. She just is who she is, who she is, and a lot of people don't always look that. But I think I wrote like a little poem earlier. If you know, if see the star that I only that I'm that I only see the shining that shining bright to me, um, then I guess I'm a lucky one. You know, because a lot of people miss out on those stars. They want to see the ones that want to sit up in front. So you know, I, I always I got so much fun, so much fun. Hey. You don't pay attention to a certain girl who, you know, maybe she ain't gonna look the best, best to at least hear her out sometime, or at least hear him out if you're a woman out there. There's, there's so many good guys that change, you know what I'm saying? Because I know everybody got the attraction. I love, I love, I love a nice looking girl, but I don't want no girl that likes you and she been a porn, a porno, you know what I'm saying? I just think the girl who's just been who she is, you know, no matter what people may think about it, because if they don't like her, but I look, you know, I was going to say I look the ass, but I'm going to be violent. But, you know, it don't matter to me. You know, because, you know, I, you know, I get one chance to get that right person in the world. And as Luke stated, in, in the past podcast, you marry a chick, and you see you with her, and then you get a divorce, and then it's going to feel the same. So, you know, I, I think there, there's somebody for everybody out there. And, you know. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we find some of those, you know, well, me and cousin, we got, we got his star, you know what I'm saying? So, we, we, we get those, we, I think a lot of times we may have those girls that we see you know, as the stars, and, you know, the ones that, that's, that, that shows more the outer than the inner, those are the ones who are going to end up missing out on the line. And that's my thoughts on, on stars. Hey, uh, well, that was, that was a very good en- uh, ending point right there. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Blue, you want you want me to go so you can yeah, think about yeah, your go question? Ahead, or... <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, Okay, well, I, yeah, of course, I got two questions. One, 
I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna be easy on y'all. So I'm, let, I'm just letting y'all know. But the but the first question basically, uh, do you think do you think uh, college you know colleges deserve to pay student athletes? Mm. Mm. Damn! Yet another great question. You, I, it's a it's a catch twenty two, and the reason I say that is because. For anybody that's going to school right now, if you're not rich and you're going on a grant or a scholarship, basically you got to bust your ass to do school and probably pick up a part-time job to make ends meet while you're in school. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you as far as the student athletes go, it's like basically if you're a student athlete, depending on how good you are, you're probably riding on a full scholarship to any school in the country that you're going to, and they're pretty much paying for everything. What gets me is it's like you got school being paid for and you getting all the stuff that you want or whatever why do you need why do you need to get paid it's like it's kind of crazy because i'm for it but at the same time i'm kind of against it because student athlete they put them on a higher pedestal than anybody else and then you got these scandals not gonna say no names cam newton where they get this bribe or they get this amount of money from somebody from the outside trying to lure them in and it's like I don't, I don't even honestly. I don't really even know because this stuff, that kind of stuff kind of makes me mad because it's like you got people that bust their ass in school that were killed to be in that position or to uh, to uh, have it as easy as some of these student athletes have it. It's like as far as I'm concerned, you going to school for one thing that's to get your education. Now, if you riding a scholarship to play a sport while you there, of course, in exchange for that for that scholarship, then it should stop there. Now, if you struggling for money. Then you need to do like everybody else do, the common people that go to school or whatever, and get yourself a job. If not, you need to find yourself another hustle. You know, because I don't think it's right. That's not that's not weed. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it's just like it's, it's just a, a, a prime example of, you know, the rich and the poor. The rich keep getting rich and then the poor they stay poor. You know, it's like I I mean I got a nice jumper. I'm, don't get it twisted. I got a nice jumper, but that nice jumper didn't translate into me getting to a, a a full scholarship to a school. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I was in school at the time, I had I was going on a grant. I wrote an essay and that got me money to go on a grant. You know what I'm saying? I put the work in to get that grant so they would pay for my school. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I didn't finish school, but I put the work in to get to school. You know, and got my grant versus. You know, some somebody extremely, uh, extremely, uh, you know, great athlete or whatever. All he got to do is shoot the ball or whatever, or you know, play great. Full scholarship. I respect that because a lot of people come from an urban area or an area that's not wealthy, and they make it to school. So that's respected. But it gets crazy when, oh, we gonna offer you a million dollars or we gonna give you this car, or whatever, knowing it's illegal to give them that stuff or give them money like that, but they throwing it to them under the table. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, we need you. I need you to stay here at. Well, let me just name a random school. I need you to stay here at Ohio State University. Just random school, random school. You know what I'm saying? I need you to stay here at Ohio State. So I'm gonna throw you a hundred thousand dollars so you stay here, or I'm gonna buy you these shoes. I'm gonna get you this car. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then my thing about it is, if you know it's illegal in college, in double NCAA and all that other stuff, rules and stuff is so strict. Why would you risk your eligibility and why would you risk your education and why would you risk going to jail over stupid stuff like that? Like, it's hard. Yes, the world is hard now. You need money. This is true. But if you in school and they paying for your schooling so you can, when you get out, you can find yourself a, 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 a job to, you know, to sustain yourself when you get out, then that's all you need. Now, with that, with that being said, though, it is hard to find a job, whether you got an education, college education or not. It is hard as hell to find a job, you know. So I understand. I understand it to a certain extent. If you if you like, man, I need to get paid or I need something to happen or you need to guarantee me a job somewhere when I get out. I, that's understandable. But do I fully agree with them getting paid? No, but I understand to a certain extent. You know, it's just it's just such a touchy subject that it's like. It, it could sway either way, you know. It's like I, I can't stand one thing. I can't stand is a person that don't put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a good paying job now, but that was because of luck, God, and me putting the work in. If I wouldn't have put no work in, 
I wouldn't have been there. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not gonna get anywhere without putting no work in. I don't give a damn who you are. You had you got to put in some work in somewhere. Even the drug dealers put in fucking work, and that's not even a legal job. Even they put in work. So what? What you gonna do? Just sit there and do and do nothing? Like you got to put the work in to be a great athlete to get you to get that scholarship, which may get you into a professional league. Then you can get your million, get that money like you want the money or whatever. But the bottom line is you got to put in some type of work. Otherwise, it ain't even worth doing. And I'll show in on that note. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm to see to how that That's kind of hard though, because it's like they should be. One thing I, I think college should do is follow up when people leave college. You know what? And one college out there, Captain University, you motherfucker. You got these people who come to y'all college, and you know we're gonna get you a job in healthcare. These motherfuckers up in the doctor. Room. Fuck out of here. Anyway, <laughs> you spend all that money. Um, um, it, it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard to feel like, should they be paid? Um, damn. They, they program gets millions of dollars. You know, some, you know, they get millions of dollars of funds, ticket prices, sales, uh, uh, ticket prices and sales, and, uh, Damn, it's kind of hard, though. I want to say, yeah, but not NFL level yet. Enough to get by in college, enough to have pay for their school. You know, if they still have to take out student, student loans, they should at least get money if they don't, you know, to, to help pay that off, to help uh, uh, provide for themselves. Because, uh, as you know, a lot of other people you know college is a bitch to pay for when you get out of college. Or that if, you, if you get, you know, you go to college and then you don't take out these student loans and then you don't play in the NFL and you decide to be you at NBA, NFL, baseball, you just become an ass. And a lot, a lot of these kids, they don't do is finish college. They don't finish two different degrees. They play a few years and then they go and, um, and uh, play, uh, you know, they, they play a few years and then they, they go to the, to the majors and maybe play about two or four years. You know, hopefully they don't end up being like a Jamarcus Russell, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, it's really paid. I'm, I'm thinking that with a lot of kids, a lot of schools, if you go to a school no matter what, my biggest thing is to take it to college, they should at least help you get into your career. If you get a job because those people, those things come back and they want their money after you end up getting loans. But, ah, uh, man, because it gives a lot of college kids don't jack their money off. Not all of them. A lot of them, they want to go buy cars and shit like that. Shit. Some college kids get their check back from them, give them books and shit. They have a little money that they get back. Most of them got to buy cars and shit. I'm like, damn, I'm talking I'm like, yo, what books did you get? ABCs or some shit? I think some of the college books cost a lot of money. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of hard, I would say. If it is to help pay, a virtual fund that helps pay down that student loan, the student debt, yeah. But uh, I want to say it could get paid, but it's how much. That's kind of hard because I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go neutral on that one. But, yeah. Because I want them to get paid, but then again, I want them to get paid, but who's to say, you know, what were they going to do with that money? You know, you're going to be making money in college, you know, making a million dollars a year in college. What's the use of, you know, going to the NFL game? You know what I'm saying? It's like the NBA, so. Well, that's a good question. I can't understand, you know. I got a brain block. Oh yeah, and and before you and before you give your answer, Vontae, I'm gonna say this one thing. Okay. To all you athletes, if you ever so happen to listen to this podcast with this this question being asked, okay, if you if you're an athlete within that second year, if you do not get a offer to a higher professional career, you need to finish your damn education. 
because you're not going to be a professional athlete for the rest of your life. It is not going to happen. Okay? You need to finish that damn education just for the simple fact the average career in any professional league, depending on the league, is what, two to four years or two to six years at the most? And then on top of that, you got to take into account when you get into a professional, you know, a professional league, they don't really go over finances. And if you got a sports agent, how much they taking out of your money when you get paid, they don't mention all this other stuff. So the moment you make this money, you pretty much giving it away or you going into debt. And then you if you've never had this type of money before, what you going to want to do with it? You're going to want to spend it or buy yourself nice stuff. You need something to you need something to fall back on because you can either you can get injured or somebody can take advantage of you like an agent or someone else and you be back to square one where you were at before. Okay, Vontae, proceed. Well, to sum that up, to sum that up all the way with what Blue just said, as the wise man from Sanford and Son said, "You big dummy." <laughs> That's all I have to say. You big dummy. <laughs> but um, now. You know, of course, this this is a dicey subject, and what I might say can be uh, can't go either way. Let's just say it that way. It can go either way. Some people gonna agree. Some people not gonna agree. Now, like with me, I've been, I've been thinking about that because I possibly could have been. It, it was a it it could have been if I wanted to be. It could have like a seventy five percent chance I could have been a student a student athlete, but I didn't really, really want to. So I didn't give I didn't care about it anymore. But um. Uh, now see, like, in a way, what I wish they can do, now, I, like, this it, it would be somewhat hard in a way, but, like, I wish, like, each college, to a degree, would have, like, a cap of how much money they can spend on the, uh, on, on the, to, you know, to the, uh, to the kids, let's just say it that way, because let, let's just say, NCAA says, Fifty thousand, or no, really more than that, really. But, but let's just say fifty thousand right now. Fifty thousand. That's all you can spend for each college. That's all you can spend. Now the thing is, now, now the unfair thing is, like the most money it give it, it, it gives to the people that give you the most revenue. And let's just say, University of uh, Alabama. Let's just say it that way, for for, for blue and shit. Anyway, <laughs> for blue, uh, uh. Of course, the football team gonna get the most out of out, out, out of that out of that uh, out of that share compared to the baseball and the lacrosse team and mm-hmm. things like that. And of course, they gonna see it's unfair. But only way you can balance the fifty thousand is for your if it's the for that specific program to get better. So then it could be more equal share. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, of course. It, so I mean, I guess win championships or win better, it'll get better, get better uh, revenue on their end. So then, some let's just say, let's just say thir- like thirty thousand goes to the football team. Now, if some other programs from that school become becomes better, or I'm not gonna say as good as the football team, but close to it. Let's just say the football team gets sixty five percent, but if some team from some other uh, programs get better. That that dwindles down to fifty five percent, forty five percent, so they can be more equal. So, I mean, like put a budget on on your on your mm-hmm. whatever like that. But then, and I also kind of want to make it like, uh, what I'm trying to say, in a way. Well, no, well, only only reason why I say this because you know when when you when like when you see people like let's look like I'm gonna put, like two examples. One is like Shabazz Napier. I like man. I, I couldn't eat. I can't eat. I barely have food just to just to survive. So you know he's saying that on interviews or saying things after the after the championship game that make you think. Okay, why he can't get any money? Things like that. Like I I can't help him out. Mm-hmm. You know, like that. And then on the second end, you could say someone as famous as like the as the as the five five. Mm. They they getting they revenue getting like thirty million. Mm-hmm. They ain't getting nothing from that at all. So, and and you even say from like right now, you could say yet again be like blue the Alabama team. All that revenue that they getting, all that merchandise that they getting from that, and Nick Saban, Nick Saban getting that money, and the coaches getting that money, 
the uh, uh, athletic uh, the athletic director getting that money, the the players not getting anything. Mm, touche, touche. So in that case, it's like it's unfair and whatever like that. But but and and to make it and to make it semi for them, you can possibly like some way somehow like put it like a little bit over um, minimum wage put a little, little bit over minimum wage and depending on and this and this the school that had how they can do it like either do it bi-weekly give them some money or or you can or do it monthly I, it's whatever i don't know that it's up to the school how they want to do it like i mean it's, it's many processes that you can do it and i find and i find it kind of unfair but also and we used to talk about scholarships full ride there has been instances as well of someone get a full ride or something like that but if they fuck up it's really on a Mm year-to-year basis so let's just say the first two years that guy he does he does excellent does does what he's supposed to do all the things like that that third year he get injured or he whatever they can they can rip out his scholarship and goodbye just like that, even if he like a, even if he is like a, a prime time player, you want to say it like that, it doesn't. They don't really care to a degree. Be it be it Florida, Miami, uh, Tennessee, USC, they don't care mm-hmm. to a degree. So and and they take out it, and and they take and they might take that scholarship and give it to a, a freshman that's coming in because they don't they don't have that many scholarships to give. So they might rip your scholarship out and give it to them, mm. and then either you get out of college, get out of college, or you pay for it out of your pocket, or whatever like that. Drop out all the shit like that. So, and then that's when it, it, it semi comes to play. You, you know, of course, you got to keep be be financially stable and make sure if you get that money from the school. Make sure you can you can flip that as the, as the, as the as a black you say you can flip that and, ke- and so you can keep that in your pocket so you can have have your you know ha- so you can be stable and things like that so it, it's a dicey road but I think it can be possible even though people like now nah, they student athletes and things like that but it's it's a wear and tear in your damn mm-hmm. body too so and you put a wear and tear in your body. Uh, isn't that like same thing? I'm not gonna say the same thing, but same thing as like a doctor doing whatever like that. They can get injured as well. A doctor, a forklifter, things like that. Like you can't pay them because they get injured too. They put they put wind tail on their body as well. You can't give them something in a way. I mean, yeah, you might give them. Uh, you don't have to worry to to a degree. You don't have to wait. You don't have to worry about their medical bill, even though you really do. You really do have to pay for a large portion of that medical mm-hmm. bill. Like if, like if it's seventy five seventy five thousand, the school might give you thirty five, but you gotta pay forty five mm-hmm. of it, or forty I should say, but yeah, forty of it. So, it it, it, it to a degree is loopholes, but it, 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 they can accommodate the student athlete to a degree as well. I mean, and then you can also say if 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 uh if you wanna say that it's still unfair. And what about the people that uh, that get the academic scholarships? I mean, if they pull, they fucking wait. I mean, they gonna get. I wouldn't say semi less than the student athletes, but they can get some too. And then, but and also, there's always as in colleges, and, and you can do that. You can you, you do it too, cousin. You can you can work you can work for the college, work at the college, and they give you mm. money as well. I'm, I'm. So yeah, remember <laughs> that, cousin. But. uh <laughs> You go, you you can work at the college or for the college to get some money off of that. You know, work, work in the office. Yeah, the, yeah. This is Dale Daniels uh, working at uh, Ball State. How may I help you, please? What that booty do? You know, you could you could do that. I mean, it, it, it's it's always something. So it, it's it's to a, to a degree is there is no excuse for giving giving a person money or ma- making them. Feel secure. They don't have to worry about their next meal, or fe- or feeding their kid for some men and women f- feeding their kid. Mm-hmm. So, and then but also you got to think about they, you know, a football team or the men or you say the men side 
might get more money to, than the women's side. Cause that's always that. That's always that case too. But because the equal share thing like that. But then that's why y'all also see in the, in the news and ESPN they got um uh, what's the name um Northwestern they, they have a union now so that's a possibility a possibility as well. More, more colleges get, more colleges are getting unions even though you know NCAA don't want that but. You know, let you know as they say, you know, in a way, let, let you know, let the white man get scared, so then he get panic and don't know what to do. So that's probably what we need to do. Just let let them let the let the board directors and things like that at the school get nervous and crack, and then that's probably how that's gonna be that's how that's gonna get resolved. So uh, yeah, I, well, yeah, I'm done. So <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> It's kind of a shame in that, you know, I got much respect for myself to all the football players, basketball players, all that. But it's, it's a shame when our teachers can't get away. You know, if any mm-hmm. teacher that's teaching the Chicago public schools in Chicago, then you know, I'll be getting anybody. You know, shit like that, like the soldiers who go fight for our country. You know, they come home and don't have a job, but, you know, they, you know, I met a, a guy the other day who was homeless and he, was in the, um, he was in the, the Iraq war and he was on it. And I'm just like, how come we're not taking care of them? I know people want to, and I guess because you know people want to play football or whatever, and basketball, but shit, we need to be taking care of a lot of our people here that deserve more money, you know, deserve a little bit of better in life. Because, you know, it's crazy. So, you yeah, know, like I said, I, I agree with you. you know, that was my, my observation, because, you know, like my, my uncle mm-hmm. said, he said, I, you know, I taught a baseball player and he made way more than I do this fun baseball. But I got to get with these crazy ass kids on this thing. Yeah, that's the ones you want to take the best. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Yvonne, I got to agree with you on that too, man. Uh, I just, I hope people keep in mind that, you know, colleges don't really care about you anyway. Because just for the simple fact, the only way they really care about you is if you can throw a football or shoot a basketball or if you, you know, in high academia or whatever, they don't care about you because tuition goes up every single year. You know what I'm saying? And it's some bullshit. It goes up every single year. It's like they only people really benefiting for real is the colleges for the most part. Now, once you get outside of college, the fact that the, the grind after that is you finding an actual job. And that's in, and that's in any field. So. Just keep that in mind. School doesn't care about you. Yeah, you know, they get that money. Yep, exactly. Thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars a year now. The fun thing about it is that they do that. You put out pills and it's been all this. The, 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 the thing is, they bring up that I got the financial aid. is all fucking. As long as I got a loan, bad damn, no more payment options yet. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is true. Like you, like you said. If anybody out there, y'all go to school and play sports, like I told my brother, finish college. Don't go for a fucking, I mean, I'm sorry for my cousin, but don't go for a program everybody else going to go to what you want to, what you love. You know, everybody else want to go through construction and shit like that. You go for something that you love and look for all that stuff, hockey and stuff. And, you know, finish school so you can get a job afterwards. One thing I want to challenge these colleges is making sure these people find work in their, in their, in, you know, in their, in their field that they study. Help them out, because they, that money is helping y'all out, so. I am not done with that. Anymore. I'm getting angry at the school, because I don't really want to go. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> well, um, uh, blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. oh, man. Uh, Blue, you you thought anything, or do you want me to uh, one of us to go? Yeah, you want you go, and then after that, I got you on the question. You want you want me to go, or you? Uh, want me to go? Uh, uh, yeah, you Okay, well, okay, well, this is a semi easy question, but but this might go be a round table discussion about some things, but ah. Uh, my my question is in blue because th- th- this this your cup of tea right here, but you uh-huh. already know it to a degree. <laughs> uh, anyway, exactly. Um, uh. Uh, my question really, uh, yeah. In, question is, uh, what are what are your uh, turn on and turn offs from a woman? Oh uh, shit! Uh huh. 
Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh, your fiance right there. Mm, is no, 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 no. She she's left the room so I can say whatever I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God, yes. I know to do. Mm. Mm mm mm. See, and blue gonna take too long, so I think I think if, uh, if either one of y'all want to go first, it is perfectly fine. I know what I'm about to say. <laughs> oh man, I, I need to hear blue. Man, <laughs> this this is his birthday. He had to. Oh my God, boy! This is my man. This is such my forte right now, man. Oh my God! <sighs> so, so which one you want first? You want to turn on or to turn off first? Which one? It doesn't matter. You would do both of them gonna be long. So no, it really matter. doesn't. Okay, well I start okay. off with the turn ons. First of all, mm, a woman's clavicle is one of the sexiest things to me. Oh my long. God. <laughs> it's just something. It's just Here something about a strong yet firm breastplate that that gets my engine going. Mm. Sexy earlobes. Mm. Sexy kneecaps. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> man. Dogs like biting into a York peppermint patty. Man, when you see a sexy kneecap, dog, I'm telling you. Mm. Huh. Women that pronounce the E's and the R's on their words and know how to speak complete sentences. It's okay every now and then if you want to speak something from the E40 dictionary, but if you just pronounce the E's and your R's, you are okay with me. Um, women that know about a 401k plan and pension, even if they're not old enough to have one or to have one in place just yet at their job. The back of the knees. Oh, God. The, that dark spot. <sighs> See, I'm just trying to say that. I'm just trying to say say the things and not go into too much detail because I know it's going to be long. So I'm just trying to say say the exact pinpoint thing and then just keep going. Mm. <laughs> it don't matter. It's the wise, wise, wise. You can go as yeah. long as you want. Um, so. Something I've recently become fond of is the... Um, the inside of the fingers, you know, in between each finger, you got the little part right there that's get, that gets mm-hmm. real ashy. You can hardly mm-hmm. keep it lotioned up or whatever. I, mm. I, I've oh, started to become head. very fond of that. Just for the simple fact that when they actually put the lotion in between their fingers, the way they massage that area until it's no longer ashy, that's, that's sexy. It, it, that's sexy. That shows that they care about their hands and then that they care about their bodies and they care about life in general. So that's been a new turn on for me. Um, Another another thing is if they're into getting spanked, um, ping pong ping ping pong paddle um, notebook yeah. cell phone yeah, DVD yeah, CD TV depending on how big the TV is, um, yeah, yeah, portable um, DVD yeah. players, uh, iPad iPhone tablets. If they like getting spanked with a remote, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, also. Women, <sighs> this is this is this is a very very big one for me. He, he, see that 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 little that little <laughs> side right there. That was that was him getting wet right there. I just let y'all know. He 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 was reminiscing on some some things back in the day. Continue, continue. Real hair, and hold on. Let me re, let me let me define that. Not not real hair you bought out of a store, but the real hair that's growing out of your scalp. Amen. And I'm not saying you have to have it done all the time, but if it's your hair and it's growing and it's, you know, long or it's right there either at your shoulders or, you know, past your shoulders and it's your actual hair that's growing out of your scalp, no weave, no Brazilian stuff, no horse hair, no none of that. Thank you. Um, no, none of that. If it's real and I can run my fingers through it while we're watching a movie or while I'm reading you a book or a newspaper or feeding you grapes or providing you hot chocolate with whipped cream on top of it. That is just a, just such a beautiful experience. It's like biting into a York peppermint patty, and while you're skiing on a Swiss Alps, butt naked, with with the breeze hitting your pert nipples, and you want to yell "we"? Oh my God, dude! Please stop. Please women, stop. <laughs> women that play Sonic the Hedgehog. It don't matter which Sonic. It could be Sonic One, Two, Three, Sonic and Knuckles. It could be Sonic Spinball. It could be any of the newer Sonics that have come out. Sonic Colors. I don't care if you play Sonic. The Hedgehog, or any game that came out before two, the year two thousand, 
that is eternal. Women, the women that know about a Sega or a Nintendo or Super Nintendo, you can have my whole check. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Women that can read, okay, <laughs> that goes for you, Fantasia. Anyways, wow, wow, wow. I can keep you. Y'all know I keep going on with this. You, dog no, man. Oh, matter of fact. A woman that knows how to pour cereal at the proper forty-seven degree angle into a bowl of, into a bowl, and then pour that two percent milk on top of it slowly. But this is the kicker right here, though. It's not too much milk, but it's not too much cereal. The milk to cereal and the cereal to milk ratio is perfect. That shit is sexy. Okay. <sighs> um, I'm. You said you said you turn off to I, just let you know. So you, so yeah, you, I'm you just saying. Going. I'm just saying because just in the past, you know, a former females I've dated, they have poured me some cereal, and I'm very serious when it comes to my cereal. If we go buy groceries, the one thing I'm gonna get before anything else is usually cereal. So I'm very serious about my cereal. I've had women pour pour me cereal. It was a nice amount of cereal, but then they pour the milk. The milk is drowning the damn cereal. What the fuck is that? That's enough to get you Ike Turner. I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like I put it to you like this. It's the equivalent of a woman going into a, a nail salon and they get a pedicure, and you know how women be talking about don't scratch, don't rub their feet so too hard that they'll get a raw patch, or they may try to get the gunk out their toes or whatever, and then they end up cutting them or nipping them or something. It's kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you buy me the wrong cereal, that's the equivalent of me getting shot nine times. Like fifty cent. Don't 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 ever do that. It it hurts. Okay. Women that know how to shop, but they don't overdo it. This is just a regular one. Women that know how to shop, but don't overdo it. If you see a sale, and the sale is proper, and you and you and you and you take action on that, I respect that. But if it's a sale and it's still really not no sale, in my opinion, and you still buy it anyway, then we have a problem. Now. Also, women that are stock market savvy. You don't have to play the stock market, but if you know the ins and outs of the stock market, and we can conversate on that, you're you're in there. You know, um, women with strong ankles. Not 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 like a man, but like a woman. Strong ankles. Because when push comes to shove, if the beef goes down, I'm gonna need you to kick a motherfucker in the ankle. Women, you know, also women with a nice, cute nose. I like that. We can do, we can, you know, you know, uh, Eskimo kisses. Love those. Um, a woman that's not afraid to to eat in front of me. You know, and mm. th- th- mm. that's that's yeah. Gotta clap on that one. Exactly. You know, not all of them are out there and crazy. You know, just a woman that's not afraid to eat in front mm. of me or eat with me. You know, what I'm saying if I'm hungry and you hungry. Then do what you do best. We're gonna grub the hell out. That's what we, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it as a couple. You know what I'm saying? I may try to feed you something or whatever. Feed me something back. I don't care. I'm not embarrassed by that type of stuff. Um, women that that don't watch all that mushy movie stuff. A woman that can sit with me, and if I'm watching Scarface or Above the Rim or Juice or God, God, I mean The Godfather or Goodfellas or something like that. Not even really a gangster movie, like a movie that'll make you think. And she think the same thing I'm thinking at that movie. It's it's beautiful, because any woman that can sit there and say to me, you know you done fucked up, right? And quote the movie and the person that said that line from that movie and knows the actor's name. Do you realize? How many quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and lint I will throw in your direction and make it rain on you? Do you not realize that? Mm. Mm. It's just, it's, I can go on all night about this, man. I really can. A woman that knows, matter, matter of fact, I'm going to skip over that one. I'm going to say this. A woman that knows what degree of temperature you like your beverages at. Personally, if I'm gonna have a water, I, I usually drink water. If I have a water, 
she knows how many ice cubes to put in my water. Because when you when you do that and you hand me that drink, I got a thermometer. I'm going to check the temperature. And if that temperature is at not at at least 33 to 36 degrees Celsius, I will pour it out. I don't care if it's on the carpet, on the floor, outside, wherever we at. It's, it's getting thrown out. I don't play that. You know, because my body is a temple. I need to put the right things into my temple. If you're not doing, the, if you're not helping me do that, you're just killing me, basically. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me from a paper, okay? And I can't have that. You know? <sighs> do, I, do I need to go on? Because I keep going on, man. Either you keep going or you go to the turnoff section. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the turnoff section. I'll, I'll go to the turnoff section. Um... Fans of Tyler Perry. That's the that's the one. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry, I can't. That's a turn off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, another turn off. Um, if you use my brush, like we're not using the same hair care products, so I don't need TCBY or just for me or Madal Sassoon in my brush. Okay. Uh, other turnoffs. Um, any woman that listens to Janae Aiko, a beautiful girl, she can sing, but all that man bashing that goes for you women that like Keisha Cole too. All that man bashing is, is got to stop because we don't have a we don't touche touche. We don't have a, a man bashing these females at this point. So I, I mean that's just uneven. So um. Any woman that is a fan of Lil Wayne or and or T.I. Mm. See, these turn-offs is real regular. They're not like my turn-ons. A lot of stuff turns me on, but just usually like random regular stuff is a turn-off. So, um, women that do not have a vast vocabulary, that is a turn-off. If we speak and if we're speak if we're speaking and I'm giving you game and I'm expecting game back from you and you cannot provide me that, that's a turn-off. Because I don't like being with somebody, and if I'm if I'm just in a conversation, if I'm in a conversation by myself, I don't like that. I like the person I'm with to have that conversation with me. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm giving you that super califragilistic expialidocious vernacular, and you can't provide me with the onomatopoeias and the proverbs and all that in return, we have no foundation to build upon. You see how strong I just came with that, my brother. You know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, women. Hmm. Should I say that? I'm not gonna say that on this podcast. But um, women. Who? No, I can't say that one either. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to be respectful tonight. I'm trying to be respectful. Um, if if. You, you just don't want Betty. That, that's kind of part song. of it too, though. Um, mm. If "Throw That Ass in a Circle" is your favorite song, oh god, oh, then we have god. nothing in common. That's a turn off. <laughs> or if Cash Money, if or if you hear Cash Money Records taking over for the nine nine and the two thousand, and you just want to shake your ass, we have no reason to talk to each other. Nah, don't get me wrong. Classic song, <laughs> but we know what that song is meant for. You know, um, I'm trying to think of any anything else that I can really think of as far as a turn off. Oh, OK. This is a major one for me. Women that eat their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with the jelly on top and the peanut butter on the bottom. That that is it. That irks me so much. I'm a peanut butter man on top with the jelly on the bottom. If you if you can't give it that if you can't give it that program, then uh, I'm sorry, we, we have nothing to speak about. Women who like their eggs. Oh God, he about to say it. Well, I put it to you like this: women who like their eggs fertilized before they are fried. Okay. Mm. It's like we haven't even went to IHOP yet, but you trying to have this baby by me? I, that's not gonna work. You see, I don't have a jail sheet. I don't have a jail record. I'm, I got a good job. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a thug or anything like that. And you've actually foregone that, oh, he ain't no thug, so I'm not going to talk to him. You for, you've got that notion out your head and see that I'm a good person. You're going for me. But the first thing you say is, 
I'm trying to get this egg fertilized. It, no, no, no. It's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. Women who look like Condoleezza Rice, who look like Fantasia, who look like Precious, who look like <laughs> who look like Shabba Ranks, not going to happen. I know that's that's very, you know, you know, on out on the outer looking thing or whatever. I'm sorry, but no. Not going to happen. I'm a fan of the whole color spectrum, but Precious, you look like Precious, it's not going to happen. Um no 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 because it's like that's like being in, in like the goodyear blimp so i i no, I, I can't and, and plus you might you might you might you might feel on something that's sweaty and you might think that's the uh vagina and that's a side so i'm just gonna say yeah that yeah well. yeah good good point good point women that shoot dice I, I can't. No, no. That's just easily you. You robbing the hell out of me. I, 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 I can't. If you're rolling sevens on the come out three times in a row, hell no. You are not the woman that I need to be speaking with. I put you. I put them in the baby D category, and I, I can't mess with baby D unless the beef is unfolding. I, I can't deal with those. Um, turnoffs. More turnoffs. More turnoffs. Hmm. Basically, if the back of the kneecap is not dark, then I don't. I, I can't stand that. So. God dang. Um, Women who can't pronounce the E's and R's on the ends of their sentences, obviously, you know, the flip side of the turn on. Um, mm. Women who look like Craig Mack. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. You no. like that flavor? And I don't like that flavor in my <laughs> ear, sir. <laughs> now, now, I'm going to just do this one as the last one. And this is just a regular one, which I'm pretty sure everybody can identify with. Women that wear too much makeup. It's like, okay, if you have blemishes, pimples, all the other stuff, understand if you don't like that or whatever. But don't cover it up with makeup because I actually want to see what you look like. Okay, I don't want to see you in one light and then you take that stuff off and you're a completely different person. Because you could, you could start out. You can start out looking like Kim Kardashian. I mean, let's get okay. Let's not get it twisted. We know what she is, but I will at least say she's she's pretty enough for this conversation. She's pretty enough for this conversation. I don't want to date somebody that looks like Kim Kardashian with the makeup on, but then when you take the damn makeup off, you like Michael fucking Jackson. Okay. Mm-hmm. A- a- exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're like a ghoulish creature, and I I, I don't want to do that. You know? I mean, just plain and simple. That's just re- a very regular one. I, I can't stand that. And then also my last. This will be the real last one. Then also at the end of that, is don't fake and be somebody that I know you're not. Okay, I've said all this stuff in this in this in this whole podcast. Now, even though I'm taken, if I wasn't taken and a woman was to hear this and actually meet me, don't use this as a ploy. Don't try to use this as a ploy to try to get in good. Like I know he what he like. Or whatever. Somebody use that and use that against him. Don't don't do that. If you know good and well, you like chitlins. You know what I'm saying? And all this other shit, knowing I don't like that or whatever, don't just don't try to use that. Just be yourself. I respect you more if you be yourself. Like, look, I like chitlins and hot sauce. I'm I'm proud of it. I'm happy for you. Just don't just be yourself. You don't have to be somebody different in front of me. Ba- basically. <laughs> I mean, just just basically, you know. That's it, you know. If you don't like cereal, oh my god, don't don't don't. You will you will get a swift kick in your in your clavicle, okay? Don't 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 play with me about cereal. So, you know, I'll I'll leave it at that for right now, man. I mean, if there's a part two to this question further down the line, I can very elaborate. I can elaborate more on this. So, I will let Devonte and or Scorp go from here. Now, I think I've said plenty. Before you go, cousin, and and, and this is for your advice as well. Uh, if the girl says, "Hold on, baby, L- let me let me take my let me put on my face or let me take off my face." Get the hell out of that apartment or, or or whatever you the hotel get it get it out. So just remember Preach. that cousin. Mm-hmm. Just remember that. If I, I, let me let me take off my face or let me put on my face. If she say either one, leave. Yeah, See you. Uh, well, you <laughs> light skin, so you don't really care. So <laughs> it's whatever. With you. <laughs> and all my, you Egyptians, you you you, you are uh, Egyptian saying. I gotta remember that. I'm sorry, cousin. You're Egyptian saying, so you don't really care. But go, but go ahead, cousin. Um, yeah, um, man, man. 
he has like the best time. Mine's is the first game about a girl fighting, you know, on the uh, well, first game. I want a girl with some brains. That's one thing I'm dealt with too many airheads. You know, I'm kind of airheaded myself sometimes, so it can't be too airheaded in this situation. Uh, a girl who uses the right maxi pads in the summer of the Another one girl one time, and she smelled like nothing. A guy was the rain, and that was a terrible combination. Uh, that yeast, man. That yeast. You, you know, do, do you remember her? Mm. Funnies? Funnies. <laughs> Oh, not, oh, not the funny. Oh, oh, God. No. What happened to Corn Chip? What happened to the Corn Chip goddess, man? I ain't heard about her in a long time. I had to say, man, somebody went up and cleaned it out, man. That nigga had to plug it in, plug it in. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so, man. So, is that what with the girl? Another turn on is a girl who cook. I'm not telling you to you ladies out here who can just think y'all can just put an egg on the almond skin and call that breakfast. Or take a, a brown and serve sausage and put it in the microwave and call it breakfast. No. I'm talking about maybe some, some uh, you know, Thanksgiving food, a turkey, you know, or some stuffing, and, and, uh, you know, pie. And also know how to buy your man some snacks. Snacks King, so buy the right snacks and uh, The size of a woman, a girl to me, attractive parts of a girl is the thighs. You can always say the thighs leads to a nice ass. I don't know about the design, but you know, I feel a nice ass. So, you know, a girl with some nice, shiny, thick thighs. That's just, it just you know, tears me apart when I see something like that goes to waste. Um, another turn on is a uh, girl who knows how to uh, go out there and have fun with her. You know, like you say, I really know how to be fun. You know, family, that's, you know, that's a good girl. And then you got a girl who can just be, like, just goofy and as crazy as you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could be, you know, out there and, and, and you know, and, and uh, fun and stuff like that. Who could do goofy like me? I do to do that. Uh, so, uh, that's my turn on. This is not a long, you know, if you shoot for the video, man, but if she beat me at 2K, that's a turn on. Anybody do that, though. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, cousin. Go ahead. I'm sorry. He just didn't place everybody's 2K hopes. You know, still, and still fuck you in your park line in 2K. Man. Um, you know my turn on for the video? Ah, damn. A girl that wants to wear fake eyelashes. Mm. Mm. That's, that's just, mm. I, you know, I understand that, you know, my, so a lot of guys have longer eyelashes than females. But you know what? If she, you know, I share mine if she wants mine. You know what I'm saying? But I would not go with a girl who has eyelashes that like snuffle up the kids from Sesame Street. And had it on me. Uh, I could do with a girl who's not a virgin, though. But a girl who, um, you know, experience is a good thing. Yeah, it's a good, a, a good thing. Maybe you had to ride it a certain way. She may know how to do it. You can look at it. But uh, another turn off is a girl, um, a chick who don't, don't like cuddling. You know what I'm saying? A brother needs to cuddle. You know what I'm saying? Not cover to the point where your damn breath is in, you know, where your mouth is on my nose and shit, not too many breaths and all that shit. But you know, coloring and chilling together. Girl, they don't like uh, kissing and stuff like that. You know, that's, that's the final. You know, you know, you know when you're in public, play around, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I be, you know, I be cutting, you know, so if I, rough girl, like the girl that used to get my ass all the time. Like, You made me feel for some dick one day. I was like, all right, baby. You have to feel dick one day. Uh-huh. And like I told my mom, she's my bully by day, but she was fucking me at night. Mm-hmm. Mm. But, you know, she went, cousin, she went to high school. You know, she, she went to 
South Shore High School. So you know those schools. Oh, the South Shore. Okay. Yeah, that, you know, I call that the rough, the rough man. Yeah, she yeah, she, yeah, she extra rough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm those times, you know. You know, she, you know I just used to get on a daily basis, humiliated by day, but not by night. But anyway, um, a girl who who can go to the grocery store store and pick out the the the, the sales. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. Girl, mm. you're gonna be like, okay, I want some Oreos for like 349. But then you look on the other side, we got like some basic cookies for like 199. She goes to basic cookies. Mm. Yeah, she, she <laughs> got to the, you know, it goes there. No, that, that knows how to shop. Mm. You know, she just ain't buying the bread and cheese for the house. You got to have bread, yeah. cheese, milk, and eggs. You know, do some cereal. You know what I'm saying? Some cereal. Maybe some ham, you know, some ham hocks and shit like that to put in green. And if she brings in sweet potatoes, and greens, and Jiffy Miss Cornbread, that's the perfect life right there. Can I beat that? So, you know, if a girl can't do that, they can turn off. You know, I can't have it. That, that's why we do, you know, that's why I scope girls' baskets at the grocery store. So this new girl, I'm taking her to the grocery store and see what she gonna pick out. If she gonna pick up the right shit, I'm gonna abandon her ass there. And change my phone number. You know, you know, so, more of that. So, that's my turn on. I don't know if I'm a, 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 a complicated guy, but, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's how you have to know how to eat my life for me. Well, okay. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh well, shit. Nah, well. Huh. No, no, I ain't gonna be mad at your ass, so you can't talk. <laughs> anyway, um, well, for me, first of all, if I could pull her hair while we're doing something, that's a, then that's a positive for me. But anyway, uh, well, okay, yeah, okay, turn ons, let's just say, okay, that she can, she can, she knows how to be rough to a degree, like be a tomboy. She don't mind getting scratched up, scraped up, she don't mind getting dirty to a degree. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. Uh, <laughs> she, you know, she don't, she don't mind, she don't mind getting ruffled and tumbled, things like that. Like, cause, you know, I like to play. We, we I like to whatever like that. Just and, and don't mind playing, you know, some sports here and there. Cause I can't, I can't do just the one that just, just in a way, want to root for you and things like that. But you know, actually, actually know, you know, actually know the game, whatever, whatever I'm playing, whatever, whatever know the game period, just know mm -hmm. that. Also. She she has to be, she has to have something on her head, and I and I just mean what well, I mean just basically be smart just 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 know oh, something in the world. Mm. <laughs> just, just just know something. Just know something. Okay. How to dodge a punch? Shut up, man. Uh, you want to hear her? Whatever. Uh. You know, and yeah, I guess like in a way, she she's semi. She really don't have to to a degree, but semi kind of no kind of can play video games. That's cool, whatever like that. Um, cause I'm gonna be doing that until probably death of me. So she gotta like she gotta she she gotta understand. Also, and I'm saying that she has to be very understanding, understanding because like I'm like like I'm trying to say, uh, it might be some things that I do and I say, and I and I might be stubborn. So to a degree, she, so she had to take it with a grain of salt, maybe. So she be understanding and also know how to know how to take it to a degree. Cause like I'm saying, my bluntness can be very harsh. So she can take it. So she can have like like shells on her and, and, and take out my bluntness because she wants a you know like a female. I'll be honest with me. Be honest. Oh, Vontae will be honest with you, boo boo. I will be honest. So. That another that's, you never gonna say Avante. Oh, he always lied to me. Oh no, he didn't. He told you straight up. Damn. So that avoid that ass whooping. You kiss ass. Um. Uh. Mm. Uh. I said she don't got know how to cook. With no way around the kitchen. Let's say that. That's the better term. With no way around the kitchen. And and and. and she can cook more than just uh, cereal, chicken, and spaghetti. She know how to cook a, a, 
a cafe type or a or something downtown dish. She know how to do something that's you know kind of a cuisine in a way, and not lean cuisine either. Goddamn. So you know that uh, in a way like. In a way, uh, know know your way around technology and computers. In a way, because I I, I might I might need a, a conversation, things like that, to uh, uh, like understand, like or I might not figure out some things. She could probably help me out, and also, and, and also, don't be one don't be one of them females that always just need me to be around you, and like you like you don't like you like. Like I'm your, I'm I'm like your entertainment. No, like in a way, you know how to be happy by yourself. Or if I'm with my, or I, I'm with Uh-oh. my boys, or I'm by myself. Don't see, I'm not. No, no I'm not gonna go there. I'm by myself. You, 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 you know, you kind of like, you, you kind of call me, and yeah, you, you, and you hear stuff in the background, and it's just me and the boys. Ain't no, ain't no strippers. I don't really do strippers like that. It's not strippers, <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> You, you, I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm just being hypothetical. I'm just hypothetical right now. But you know, you, you, you know, you hear me and my boys. You know, we, we having a good time. And as soon as you, as soon as you hear, you, like you hear fun, like oh he having fun without me. And then she, you know, she, and you say, and I, I call, you know, she, she, I pick up the phone. Yeah, hey girl, how you doing? Are you having fun, nigga? Fuck you then. Nah, I don't even want to talk to you no more. You know, she be like that. Like you'll be all resentful, like for no damn reason. Thing like that, like like know how like have your own thing, or or when I'm doing my thing, don't don't worry about what I'm doing to degree because I'm like I said, I'm monogamous. She ain't gonna worry about me. I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my fingers on other people's Did cookie test. jars. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, man, I can't deal with those. Uh, I mean, okay, uh. A, a, a female that knows how to dress, but then also know how to know how to play mm, down as well. Mm, that's a very very good one. I forgot to mention that one. That's a very good one. Yeah, no, no, as a play down, and then and, and and with that, and and something else goes together. It's almost like she doesn't always have to want to go out somewhere. She can just know how to stay mm. in and just watch a movie. Just or, or they ain't gonna watch a movie. We can just, as the woman always want to do, let's just cuddle. And things like that. Just let's just cut them, let, and like and like just like blue said, let me play with your hair because I like I like hair, but also talking about <laughs> hair, I, play, I, I can't I can't do that. The, the micro braids and things like that. I'm a simple type of person. I just want your hair down. That's all I want. I don't want I don't need no ponytail. I don't need a bob. I don't need things like that. I, I, if you have if you have your hair down, that's the sexiest shit from I see a woman, especially if she especially if she had that black hair. And real black hair too. That had a, and I had that extra deep voice. Real black hair on that one. <laughs> anyway, you know how that had that brunette black hair, or had a little, or or you could say the semi blonde, the goldish blonde. It's it, that's all right too. But but ha, but how your hair down? Oh, it, it's, it's magnificent. <laughs> oh, mwah, mwah. They gotta go Italian on that one. See, so leave alone, Italian, Italian. You don't know what I am, damn it. Anyway, I got everything in me. I call I'm I'm everything. Call me the rainbow, and I don't, I don't mean that type of rainbow either. Anyway, um, well, and, and, and like a female that that doesn't mind, and like I guess it's like blue as well. Don't mind looking at other type of movies, cause like we could look at the action, we could look at the drama, and all the things like that, but. Like, like be a variety, and then also, and I guess all this connected in a way. In variety, this is almost like the number one, number one turn off and turn off in a way. You have to be consistent with whatever it is, because I don't need a wishy washy flip flop mm. female at all. And that that's that, that's damn near my one, my number one pet peeve when people are not consistent with whatever they want to say or do. They, you know, are we we gonna go out on Friday? Friday, oh no, I can't do it. Let's do it. Let's do it Sunday. Sunday come, nah, I can't do it. Tuesday, 
no, nah, I can't do it again. Okay, that see that then that then that I can't do nothing with you. <laughs> Cause I, I can't I can't in a way almost can't trust you in a way or can't be whatever. And then also I need a female that that in a way I can be myself in a way because there's a lot of females or even people in general I can't be myself towards because like I was saying, I could blunt, stubborn, but also I could be a very uh, spontaneous, goofy, adventurous person, and sometimes they, they, people in general can't handle that. So there's that, and then there's also, which is almost very hard for a female to do, is to make me laugh, because it's, because I can only say, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to tell her this, and she already knows this, like pretty much only Red and Betty could make me laugh. Mm. That's it. Like, that's the only woman I ever known that can consistently make me laugh. Other than that, I pretty much never had a female that made me just bust out laugh. I might get a chuckle. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but actually, just bust up laughing? Nah. They uh uh-uh. uh, them, them garbage ass or them garbage ass jokes or just or just something that they say like, nah. Uh, boo boo, that ain't working. Boo boo, that ain't working. <laughs> you know that. You know so, but I mean, have a sense of humor. I'm saying that have a sense of humor, but but even more, go step even further than that. Make me laugh. Now, if you make me laugh, you basically got me mm-hmm. anyway. So that's almost, I guess, consist consistency and make me laugh is almost like one and two for me, for for me to get. You know, to basically, you have my heart in a way. To a degree, so that I, uh, mm, I guess that I mean have have a nice smile because I've seen some ugly smile females before as well, uh, uh, you know ugly ugly grill fake <laughs> you know all that stuff like that. I've mm-hmm. seen that, and then, uh, I rather would have a natural type of female as far as you know. In a way, the hair kind of, I, I, cause I don't mind like the straight down or or the semi puffy. I kind of like that too. I put, but I also can't. But 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 taking us even a step further, I don't want no natural as far as I don't want a bald headed woman. Either. <laughs> I can't do it, cause basically I, I I'm rubbing on your head. I think that's a man <laughs> head or something. And then and then both of us, bo- both of us have a fade. Like wait, like we going to the same bar, but I don't know if I can do that. That and just. <laughs> I, I need. I just need some hair on your head and things like that. Okay, just I don't know. Just mm-hmm. I, I can't do that. And um, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. Um, <laughs> nah, nah, we can't go to the same barber. I mean, unless I got a beauty shop at the same place, which they always do. Well, not always, but most of the time they have beauty shop with the, with the barber shop. Like we do it that way, fine. Mm-hmm. But. Other than that, but if you going we going to Tyrone together, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm going first and you going second. No, yeah. no. I do have one more thing though. No. Baby. All you ladies out there. I'm a, I'm yeah. a man. I'm kind of a metro sexual sometimes. Um, please use uh chapsticks because I do not really like kissing uh lips that feel like they haven't been rubbed across the floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I got to agree with you on that, Scorpius. Nothing worse than cracked soup coolers. So, yeah, I agree with you on that, man. Okay. Uh, two more things and I'm done, though. That I'm going to turn off. One, I like, I, to, a degree, to a degree, full set of lips. Because I can't do little lips. Oh, little no. lips. <laughs> little lips. That's what I'm saying. Little lips. I can't do little lips. That's what I'm saying. I can't because them, them, them that's the that's the like the white people lips, them little lips. Like you, you like you barely see any pink on on, on their mouth or something. Or you, know, you barely see you barely see pink or or brown or black. That's them little lips. They not even little. Oh they little lips. <laughs> oh my god, little lips. So that exactly. It's different type of lips. I, I see. See. Okay. So I'm about to expose myself again. I I pay attention very much to a to a person's lips and to a, and to a person's 
uh, backside as well. And I and 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 I, I have it too so much as a degree. I have names for for certain lips and certain asses oh, as well. One of those names for the ass. So, yeah. So, cause I just I just name I just say one. I, I just say one, and one of them is like a sidewinder. And what I mean, sidewinder is like the side. You, you like, damn, that's like a big, that's like a big <laughs> ass. But then as soon as you turn like to you, like towards you, and you, the ass is facing you, that shit looks <laughs> ugly as hell. <laughs> like, what the fuck kind of ass is this? That's a bitch. Oh god. It's almost like this, like almost like a windshield wiper, like like it's like like the side is is. It's, it's going it's going smooth like you you brushing some of that uh, some of that gunk off but as soon as you get to the front you almost like like what the hell do you see i like it's almost like it, it's blinding you of, of ugliness almost but i'm not but i'm not gonna talk about it. that's a different discussion because i it's it's like 20 to 50 different type of asses in the in, to a degree. Some of them I forgot the name. Some of them I still remember because it's been over the years. But you know this this is a study. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. You, see, I get the, 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 that's my blue section right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's my blue. Everybody section. has anyway, one. Anyway, see, I got it. Uh huh. But anyway, uh, the turnoffs. I mean, I you know say it one. If you ain't consistent. You mm-hmm. got to go. Mm-hmm. You got to go. So that um, if you can't hold a conversation at all, I I can't do it at all. Just you know, you uh, you, you want to talk about love and oh my god, please, please say it, say it, please say it. Yeah, no, because I'm about to expose oh, anyway, but not really. <laughs> but, uh, I don't care. No, but it, it's not really. But I'm just I'm just talking about it. Uh, you know, you want to talk about love and hip hop, and that's it. That almost, or like what happened about the about the previous episodes, or what's coming up next. You want to talk about something like that? Like, we can, why we can't talk about world events? You know, I don't. Talk, I don't think you know. I don't look at world and stuff like that, like that. But I know some things. Why we can't talk about world events? Why we can't talk about <laughs> some black Panther stuff? Anyway, uh, you know, just talk. Just talk about. You know, just talk about something. Just something with some substance, mm-hmm. and but not right. abuse though. But uh, but you know that just you know that um, uh, a a female a a female that doesn't have to pencil in her her Mm. eyebrows Mm. like that or just or 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 almost look mannish almost just something with the makeup and things like that no just no no and basically know how to present yourself. But the, or, or I guess the turn off don't don't know how to present yourself. And then, yeah, and then, and 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 then a woman that kind of tries too hard to try to get a man or to get a man to notice you. Uh. Um. Damn. Uh. Da, da, da. I can't remember the rest of them. Uh. I get. I guess a woman that. I, and I'm being like picky in a way, but a woman that kind of just just want to be a bump on a log and be a bump on a log that she kind of don't want to like, uh, she don't she don't really care about like in a way her, her weight to a degree. Uh-oh. I mean, I mean, no, but no, that's not like just it. I'm just she don't mind. She's like, oh, I, I be fat, I just be fat in a way. Like, just just know how to just you don't have to be. Fully, th- you know, be like Terry Crews or some <laughs> shit like that. You don't be like what that, but just <laughs> exactly. I ain't no girl. But just, but just exactly. But anyway, but you know, just you know, just be okay. Be just be be you, you be healthy in a way. And I, I mean, and I don't mean just like be working out. Just like in a way, just eat the right things. Just make sure, just, almost like make sure you, make sure your temple is okay. You don't got to be just. You you can still be one seventy, it's okay. I don't mind some one seventy, or or it'll be someone that's one twenty. I mean, long as your long as your inside is okay, then I'm you know I'll be okay. And then, uh, uh, I guess like a woman that kind of, kind of like don't care about anything, 
or don't or, or, or like in a way don't have remorse about things don't know like don't have a conscience and she because i mean let's just say i don't know like the, like her mother or someone that she knows is going through something and that's that's their problem to the, i mean you can like you i mean you gotta put like some money on the money on their table for them but this you can't you can't just talk to them and thing like that like you just that's like I'm saying. Like, that's day problem. Like you, like that's not. That's not, I mean, what what kind of human are you in a way? That almost like that's, that that shows your character of overall in a way. So you know, have some care in the world. Have something that you can be you can be thankful mm-hmm. of. I mean that. Um, uh, and, and oh oh yeah um. Sir, you were you will not offend our BBWs, okay? No. On behalf of myself and Scorp BBWs, we love you, okay? I, I love you. Too. I love shout, shout out, <laughs> shout out to the shout out to Post Big Finds on Twitter. Appreciate you guys for the big women love. We love big women. Okay, proceed, proceed, proceed. Mm. Wow, wow. Um, I, I guess uh, it's not it's not that many more, but a, a woman that that kind of need. A man for their money, and you know, like they, they, like I need a man. So to be, exactly, go dig, be, so I can be financially stable. Like, why can't you have money on mm-hmm. your end, and I have your, and I have your man or your or your sugar daddy, and that's you know his money be basically be your money. Why can't you have money for your your own self? Like, I guess turn on, turn off, be independent to a degree, but but also. Also, in a way, be dependent. Don't be so independent because nowadays women gotta be so independent. Like, it's okay to be ten percent, twenty percent of being dependent of your opposite. There's nothing wrong with that because sometimes I might need you to fall back on. I might be, I might be something on hard times. I might get laid off. Might get something. I might need you to pick up for two, three months or however long it is, and then. That third, fourth, fifth month, we got it. We got it back settled in. So, in a way, like I guess, in a way like this, know know how to know how to hold your king down, and you be the queen, and know how to know how to take over sometimes. Hold your king down, but that's that. But that's almost a trait people don't really do in a way anymore. Don't know how to hold mm-hmm. their king down or whatever like that. So, I mean, there's that. Um. Uh, I think that's it. To be honest, I it's, I know it's more, but I can't think of them. I know it's more on both sides, but just like with Blue, because he has too damn much. I know I have more than that, but I think I ended on that. I, th- I, I think oh, I was good. That was a name. Both of y'all had very good turn offs. Cause mine was just, I mean, I was like, okay, you know, I think I don't got enough. I'm probably gonna you know, get cheated on, but you know, it, it, you know, yeah. I was over there. And it's, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it, it made me look at myself or look at my turn off and turn on. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you both for for saying that. Dante, you're not a part of the DVW uh, foundation. I, I love y'all, Crystal Clear. Sorry. Holla at me. <laughs> I love you, my favorite, Crystal Clear. I love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> blue, blue, don't talk about. Oh. Blue, exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh. I'm not gonna go no further into that right there. Oh my god. I'm just gonna laugh, dog. Oh my god, man, that was hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! That's mm. yeah, dude. We gotta do BBW or something. Like that. Yes, somewhere in, along the line, you know, somewhere somewhere further down the line, we yeah, we got to. It's no way around it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> wow. So uh, bl- blue, you got to us or, or the man? The way this conversation is going, I don't need to ask no damn questions. This conversation alone <laughs> is is. It's pretty damn good. I don't. I don't even have to get provide a question. So I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and, and proceed. I don't have to provide a question, man. 
you, hey, you, you the birthday boy anyway, so I guess that, that's yeah. a special privilege. <coughs> privilege. Oh, man. So go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, damn, this is just so many good questions. So, so much fun. nice conversation. The cricket is still going crazy in the background, so I apologize. Hell yeah. <laughs> they ain't having sex back there, too. That's why you're so loud. <laughs> Oh Give it to me, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> you know, you know, because it's just like rare to hear. Cause when I used to live in Chicago, it's like you were in my music where you hear bang, 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 gunshots. It's kind of weird. But my thing is, I think it's be pretty cool. And, uh, everything. What uh, first date, first date or romantic date, you don't even want to go? What is your ideal date in taking that one chick out that deserves to work? What do y'all do the most days? You know, you know, Saturdays, all that. Take her ass to McDonald's and just call her a date. Thanks, anyway. Go ahead, shit. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm lying about that. I, I hate McDonald's. I'm lying. Go ahead. <laughs> you, you know, it's funny because Vontae say what every man want to say, but he can't say that shit, though. Basically. <laughs> We we wish we could, but we know it's not realistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You you know what? On the first date, honestly, man, it needs to be a medium because you don't want to go too expensive on the first date because you hardly know this girl. But at the same time, though, you don't want to go the McDonald's right because she'll look at you like a cheapskate or whatever. Honestly, um, first date, and I'm really feeling this woman or whatever. Um. A good medium would be something like Applebee's or something like um, Chili's or something like um, something around that nature. Just for the simple fact, they have a, 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 a variety of a, of, a, of a menu to where it's not like you coming off like a cheapskate, but it's not it's not off the deep end, so you still got money in your pocket. Now, me, but see me personally on my on my own personally, if I'm really into this girl and I feel like we got some uh, a foundation or something like that. I'm usually the type, either or like I'm picking her up or whatever, you know, have conversation on the way there. We talking to everything, good conversation, everything. Usually me, I'm the type of person when I'm with dating a girl, I'm embarrass you. I'm sorry if you don't like the the you know getting sung happy birthday to in public and all that other type of stuff in public. Then don't even bother talking to me because I'm the type of person I'm gonna go and I'm gonna embarrass you. So, you know, nice conversation on the way there and or whatnot or whatever. Get there, you know what I'm saying have a seat reserved or whatever a table reserved you know maybe a rose or two sitting there on the table um you know what i'm saying find out what her favorite drink is like you know how you how you do your your pre-game and all that other stuff when you first meet a chick or whatever you know you find out stuff about her mm-hmm. find out what her favorite drink is have that already ordered for her you know what i'm saying just little stuff like that not not doing anything too major but significant enough that she remembers you know now if all if all fails and that didn't work or whatever, you 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 never go wrong with just asking a woman what she likes. You know, what I'm saying? because it's it's been it's just it's been for centuries where you know a man won't know what a woman wants and vice versa, and then we just go out, go out on a limb and try to figure it out on our own. Just sometimes you just gotta ask the woman like what she likes. Now if she's talking about all this, oh I like a Japanese steakhouse and you know that shit is expensive, then and you ain't got the money for that and you're not that type of person, then you might as well end that. Exactly. You know, find exactly. find the alternative to that. You know what I'm saying? If you're really actually actually into this girl, find the alternative to that, or just be honest from the jump. Like, look, I, I respect that. That's what you like and everything. But I'm not on that right now. Like, either like I'm in school, trying to make myself, trying to make a better future for myself. But at this point, I don't have that type of income. So I would still appreciate if you would, you know, accompany me on this date to, you know, such and such or whatever, if you would still like to. Nine times out of ten, they'll still be like, yeah, if she a, if she's a gold digging hole or whatever, she's going to say no. And then that's the person you don't want to deal with, you know. But a place like Applebee's or a place like Chili's or something like that or even Olive Garden, I come to find out that Olive Garden really is not that expensive at all. You know, you can do that just like you do Applebee's and stuff like Chili's two for 20, Applebee's two for 25, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying because that, that's what me and my lady do to this day. We five years strong. That's usually what we do. Like, we'll go somewhere, like, even if we got the money, the splurge or whatever, it's like usually we'll have the money, but it's like we don't never want to spend the money like that. So, hey, let's do this two for 20, my nigga. And you know what I'm saying? We do what we do, you know? 
but it's like just try to get a feel for the woman that you into and if all else fails just just ask her you know ask her but when you do go into the date or whatever do something that she's not expecting you know what I'm saying they'll keep to keep them interested, you know what I'm saying, or do something that, or do something that she's not used to, you know, like or like like I said with the roses at the table, or you can just give her the rose when you when you greet her at the door, or when you go pick her up, or open the car door for her, or something, you know what I'm saying. But don't do it. But but my thing about it is, don't do it to the point where she's expecting that all the time. You know what I'm saying. You got to find a, a balance. You know, like do it on the first date, and then you know do something less subtle on you know the next date, and then you know. When something good comes up, she got a promotion or something, then, you know, throw something, throw something at her she's not going to expect, you know, because they love that little stuff. You know, most women, they like, oh, I didn't buy me this, buy me that or whatever. But most women like little, little subtle stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or like say or say or even even like say y'all sitting at the table, say say you notice she did her hair or say you notice, you know, she got I know you hate eyebrows, long eyelashes and all that other stuff. Let's just just say, you know. I see you got your uh, your eyebrows penciled in, you know. Just just notice stuff, you know what I'm saying? They love that kind of stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. But but uh, well, I can tell you, I can tell you personally on the first day with my lady or whatever, we went to Chili's and we ate two for twenty. So, you know what I'm saying? So plain and simple, it's like we went two for twenty. I found out real quick what type of woman she was. It's like, oh God, yes, this is gonna work. You know what I'm saying? She got money or whatever, but she ain't the type to try to spend it all at all or whatever. And she's conservative. And she's conservative, but she she'll she likes to have fun or whatever. This is gonna work out great. You know? So just try to figure out the woman and if you if you can't figure out man, just just go ahead and ask her. Uh, okay, well oh, you got something to take you know, I can you can tell me to do this because my other fire and my mother that you can go into that you can do that. That's my life. But my other client is now that you with this girl, you know, whatever, for about two or three years, it's an idea of a romantic date about skin. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Well, okay. Well, for me, of course, well, you have to pregame it in a way. So, you know, you, you know, you talking to the female. You know, you you see what she likes. What and, and so you, you don't see, you don't know you don't try to get everything. So you get some likes and some dislikes because because some if you gonna be if you gonna stay with that woman for a while, you gradually over time you are gonna see some more dislikes and likes that she that she whatever. So you find some things like okay, so I mean the conservative route is the din- is in a way the dinner in the movie. But the thing is, if you want to do the dinner in a movie, it could be either the movie or the dinner. You can you can change it up, and like it could be a, a different type of restaurant in a way. And you know, in Chicago, well, in a way, in Chicago, there's different type of restaurants that that people don't know about. So that's why, like, in a way, with with me, I if I'm in Chicago, yeah, like I'm in Chicago, I try to find things. That people don't really know about either be it downtown or it could be all the way up north somewhere or something like that it'd be somewhere just far far away that you won't know anything about so then they won't know like like i'm saying like if you do the, you do the chili do the whatever like to a degree they might know what to expect from that so it's either that 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 spontaneous thing you don't know you don't know what what's what's from there so that, that's why like you ask questions like what she like to eat you find some up north that 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 kind of has some things that she might like or might want to try. So do that, and but then the other route is a, a non-conservative route. Uh, you know, you, you might want to do things more. Uh, let's just say let, let, let let's just make it an easy way. Let's just say a bowling. You can do mm-hmm. a bowling thing. And then you also make the bowling thing make it make it make it uh, uh, make it uh, spruce it up, make it fun, make a competition out of it, and just say, you know, it, like either the highest score or let's just say one of us score a one seventy. You know, I, I get a I get a kiss, I get so and so. So make make it a competition and make it a little bit fun and challenging from from the, from each party from each side. So, I mean, so it, it you can be, 
you could do either two, you know, yeah, do two things, either conservative or the non-conservative, and be more, be be a little bit more adventurous. Because you can do hiking if you want to, if the, if the female want to, because you, you know, a female, oh, I'm so hot, my weed about to, oh, my weed, but see, you know, so the, the hiking thing, <laughs> the hiking thing might be too much, but if she want to, do that. But anyway, I digress. So I mean, there, there's there's it, there's a lot of things. You you can do, but you have to see what interest is. But then, but if you just want to do dinner in the movie, if you just want to sit down and talk things like that, I mean, yeah, you notice notice the simple things and and notice things like that. But also at Blue Notice as well. Anyway, do you know? Kind of compliment her as well. Say little things here and there. You know, you have you have a nice smile. Your your, your you know your uh your your right uh your. Your right tooth or your fang, that, you know, it little extra My sharp nigga. or something. Yes, <laughs> See, here you go. Exactly. It, you know, it, you know the 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 the, uh, the light of you know the 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 light and the ambiance of the room kind of make you sh- you know glisten and, and show your show, mm-hmm. show your beauty more than usual. You know that th- that type of thing. Yeah, compliment her, but I mean you could do. The, the, the simple things, but also you could say something that's more. I'm not gonna like not like blue talking about your damn me and shit. <laughs> but you could do something in the medium, like I was trying, like the, the two thing, the two three things that I say. You could do that. So I mean, so compliment her, make 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 her feel comfortable, make her feel whatever like that. Just you know, have a little conversation. You ain't gotta have made a conversation. You ain't gotta say you know have made a conversation like what that booty do. <laughs> and I do all that. <laughs> Okay. You know, just, just, you know, just, you know, how school, how's work, how's all that thing like that. You know, just have, have those type of conversations, and then those those conversations lead up to sub conversation while you while you eating. But make sure her ass don't be eating while she talking, cause you see all that <laughs> damn mouth, see all that food in her mouth, and it's like they're like, baby girl, what's wrong <laughs> with you? Even even though the, even though the female might you know while she talks she might put that that like the female always would put that hand while they talking oh you doing you know all that, that little hand thing they always be doing like sometimes like girl just it don't matter just 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 talk you ain't gonna put that hand on there trying to be all nice mm-hmm. and all nah just just chew girl don't worry about that I, I did say girl <laughs> girl just chew just chew girl oh god so but yeah but I mean just just do all that just. Make make her feel comfortable. Make her feel like she's wanted. Like you you're interested in her, even though it might be a it might be like a ten five ten fifty percent. I don't care about you. I just want. <laughs> I should have seen that shit coming. <laughs> That's it. Yes, yes. It might be some of that, but just but just make her feel comfortable. Make her feel that she is that someone for that night. And like I always tell a female, you all. Anytime every day I see you, you gonna feel like my queen, always and forever. So, m- make her feel that way. Make her feel like she's mm-hmm. a queen, cause she is, cause she got stolen. Wow. But anyway, and you, and you know what though, to add on to what I said and to what Vante just said, nine times out of ten, you know, you, you both of y'all gonna be nervous on a date. So it, it's it's refreshing yes. to find out that she's just as nervous as you are. So you don't have to put as much pressure on yourself to make the date be perfect. You know. So, and don't have cue cards in, in, in your pocket either. Like you trying to put cue cards, what's, like this next thing I should tell her. This next thing I should ask her. No, don't do that either. Have cue cards. But anyway, go ahead, continue, bro. Exactly what Vante said. I mean, like nowadays, it's so you know so much pressure on both of y'all. You know, for the date. You know, and is my hair straight? Is my teeth? Is something in my teeth? You know, it's always something. It's it's refreshing. I got to write on exactly stuff like that. So don't put so much pressure on yourself to make the date perfect. You know what I'm saying? Usually, if you put forth the right effort or the right amount of effort, it'll show. So you don't you won't feel as you know like damn did I do this right or I want to kiss her. I I don't I'm hesitating. No, don't none of that. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want to kiss the woman, depending on the woman, you can just go in for the kiss. Now, if she's into you, she'll kiss back. And if she don't want that, you know, she if she'll be she should be polite. Me like, you know, what I'm saying we just you know we just had a date or whatever. Maybe some other time, you know. But if the date goes well or whatever, and you you put around put up put forth the right amount of effort, then you usually get that kiss. So that's not a, that's not a biggie. Just one of the main thing is is don't put so much pressure on yourself. Um, 
Avante, great grandpa made a great, great point about um, you know, the compliment you the woman. You know, find something find something. I know I go a little overboard with the compliments, but <laughs> find something. So I find something about her that you like and compliment it. You know what I'm saying? And it could just be simple as, you know, I love the way you did your hair or did you do that yourself? Or, you know, I love the way, you know what I'm saying, you did, you know, your if she wears makeup. I love the way you did your makeup. It's not too much. I can still I can I can see the beauty. The beauty the makeup helped the beauty in your face even more or something like that. You know, just something just simple. Like like Vante said with, you know, finding somewhere as far as a date goes. Now I'm simple. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to be super extravagant with stuff. I'm I'm real simple. You know what I'm saying? Especially if a if a girl is like she wants to go out on a date with me and she's treating me or whatever. I'm real I'm real simple. So it don't it don't really take much with me, you know what I'm saying, for us to have a good date or whatever. Now, as far as she's concerned, I like what Vante said with, you know, the Applebee's and stuff is cool, but every now and then you got to try to find something, be adventurous with it, try something different. I respect that, too. That that works as well. So, it's it's so much stuff. If, if anything, the city you live in, if you're going to do one thing and one thing only in that town, it's probably go fucking eat. Because out here where I stay at, man, it's a million and one places to go eat, but ain't really too much to do outside of that. So, you got all the restaurants in the world to, you know what I'm saying, to build on you know to go somewhere and try something different with a woman so if you if you're if you're that type of man that's you know flowers and in and candy or flowers in a card or flowers in a letter or something like that then then go again go forth and do that if this is a woman that you want to that you really want to take the time to know or whatever then proceed but if you're just trying to get the panty draws then you know what i'm saying by all means do as minimally do as the minimal as you can without hurting your pockets but hopefully your your intentions are good. Yes, and I'm saying that for the sake of this podcast. If any woman is listening, but uh, anyways, Good way, though. Out to dinner, good way. 
you know, like hundreds that take me to go to go hiking. That's not a lot of the crazy way. I, you know, like, you know, and, and like we said, going to Chile, getting that two fifteen, not spending a lot. When y'all join, join each other time, that's the point of everything. And, you know, it's like, shoot, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go to the beach and chill. Like, I think the most romantic thing for me is to take a girl to the beach. And it's like 70 degrees. And you got like the moon over and you hear the waves crash and you want to sit there talk. Because it gives y'all a chance to get to know one of you. One, one of each other, god damn, one another for a change instead of telling the people around you, it's just you and her, that's chilling, you know, and just enjoying each other's time, just relaxing, and you know, you don't gotta be no one at a certain time because you, you gotta realize when you go on dates like that, go hang out with a girl like that, the time flies by. I was there up there about nine o'clock, I was like two, three o'clock in the morning by the time y'all leave. And that's because y'all enjoying each other's time, you know, you know it's, you know, all, it's, it's just, you know, you're around so many people at certain times so y'all can't hear each other, you know. But it's like that one-on-one alone time, it's that key time, you know. So, I, I, I feel like that this time, it's going to be, you know, beachy if you don't go out to, uh, you know, like, uh, having a eight on some shit, maybe go hiking. You don't go out to eat sweet and everything, but the most important part is being in the future. So, you know, that's, that's my take on the man in my first date. I feel the one that probably wouldn't do that because she probably wouldn't be used to me like that. So, like you said, like a dinner, going out to dinner, you know, maybe a movie, but, you know, second date, if you get that far, third date. Maybe if we get into a relationship with privacy, you know, you know, we, you know, I, you know, we live in the gathering, set up something nice when she come home, you know, because the brother can kill, cook, so, you know, cook a little dinner, with some candles, I know it's some cheesy and shit, but, uh, you know, doing things for her, we do things for each other. A little surprise is like Blue said, like the real thing, and things that she appreciates. And, you know, we maybe, you know, things, you know, leaving her uh, like a message or something on her pillow sometimes, you know. You know telling her to, you know, way up for you, something like that. You know, so that romantic side just sets in. You know, that's the best part of the romantic side is you do certain little sort of things. And, you know, like you said, it don't cost a lot of money to, you know, it don't cost a lot of money to get, in the, get to know somebody. It shouldn't cost money to get to know somebody who, you can truly see as your future, you know, pun intended. But, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what, that's what, that's, that's, that's my idea of what I'm managing in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like how you, I like how you mentioned the beach too, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that that's very good too, and also free. Um, yes. But see, in, in my case, that, that that beach part don't really work for me just for the simple fact the beach for me is in is like two hours away. So I got to do a little job for that to happen. So, yeah, the beach thing don't really happen too often. But if it works for you and you close to the beach or whatever, I say go for it, man. Yeah, that's, that's how it works for me. I think well, it's all about Chicago. Not like you don't have no beach where else I take it. So, like, I'm going to go to the park. You know, the clean park because sometimes in the park show I had a rat clean and my possum come out and you know when I hate her I'm about to get attacked. I'm going to leave her ass there and she get attacked for not sure. But, but you know like, like you said it's like if you got to do this good for you and everything and shit sure, sometimes just going out for a walk is a perfect remedy to get it. Then like the, the, the costumes and shit like that. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. Not perfect but it's going to be you know it's gonna be that it's gonna be perfect for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't got you ain't anything else. Uh, on that uh, subject, no sir, I do not. Mm. Now you still don't, you don't still have a question? Well, mm-hmm. I guess it really don't matter, but you mm-hmm. don't have a nope. question. Sure don't. This this one this one has been been good without any any of my questions. I mean, 
I couldn't have asked for anything better at this point. It was it was this right here? This is exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> you still ain't shit though. Anyway, um, uh, well, uh, cousin, you know what I mean? Um, you know, the only thing I got is uh, no, so, I still need your review about the family. What's your favorite movie? Top. <laughs> no, we, no, we can't talk about that. <laughs> no, we can't talk about that. So, yep, okay, well, we can't talk about that. That's, 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 so we, we, that's, a, that's a, we don't have it's not a section of X video podcast, so we don't have anything like that. So, uh, uh, I guess we will do final statement because we can't do that. So, uh, uh, <laughs> uh who, who wanna, uh, anyone have a final statement? Um, Oh, yes. In the uh, words of a famous philosopher of the name of Project Pet, I will say it again. She can be a stick or a big ass hippopotamus. In quote. Yep. But yeah, seriously, though, man, like Vante, Scorp, thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, for including me in the podcast, especially you, Vante. You know, you didn't have to include me in any of these podcasts, but I do appreciate it, man. I know a clown with y'all a lot, but I really do appreciate the both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So. I know Vontae, you always tell me to shut, your ass, shut my ass up. And every time I hear it, I just take it as love because I know that's what it is. Sometimes you may be literally saying uh-huh. that for real, to mean that for real, but I don't take it that way. So shout out to Betty. You know what I'm saying? Thank thank you, Betty, again, for being a uh, part of my heart. Thank you for creating Vontae. You know, just thank you. Uh, shout out to Red. Throw that AKA, also known as Throw That Ass in a Circle. Shout out to Red. Um, mm. Shout out to Bombshell84. I appreciate you for the birthday wishes. Everybody that wished me a happy birthday, thank you. Vontae, Scorp, uh, uh, Blind, um, anybody on Twitter that sent me a birthday shout out, but especially you, Bombshell. I appreciate that. Um, just thank you, everybody. You know what I'm saying? 28 years in the game, strong. Mr. Al7 is going to be here forever. Mr. Parsnips Langford, you know what I'm saying? Um, keep watching these podcasts. Appreciate it. Anytime Vontae puts up the link, I'm retweeting it. I mean, we need his feed. I want feedback from everybody. See what we can do to improve. I'm trying to keep this podcast going. Be trying to get to a million episodes. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna stop. Bad boy for life. Eh, eh, I'm out. Mm. <laughs> that was perfect. Man. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, Cole. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for everybody out there uh, for listening to uh, Cousin Podcast coming to the stream as well. Uh, I was going to do the stream. Y'all be there to hold me down when I ain't there. And uh, everything. You know, I'll be like, damn, if I take stream, I'm like 15 hours away from now. And so uh, thanks for y'all for doing that. Thanks for Vontae for so, like you stated, uh, for having me a part of the podcast. And thank you for being a part of the podcast. Well, and uh, happy birthday to him. If I can sing, I want to sing happy birthday and shit, but I'm like, you know, breaking nobody here or anything. Um, shout out to um, um, all of the mothers out there, the black mothers, the uh, single black mothers, and all of the strong black mothers out there. Thank y'all for being It's amazing. And uh, any great black fathers out there. Um, thank y'all for being out there. I wish I had one of them fathers as well. Uh, shout out to. Uh, the BBW of the week coming from me, um, Juicy Judy Chin, uh, Chicago. Wow. I'll let your boy be bisexual. I'll let you be bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, I tried not to have this on the podcast. See, I tried, I tried, but y'all keep on doing it. So, what can I do? Go ahead, cousin. Go ahead. I'm just saying, thanks, thanks. Big fine. I'm giving her a shout out. But, uh, you know, as ever, you know, a lot of seriousness, though, I um, hope everybody that uh, enjoys that we got that, you know, hopefully school week, everybody can ready to go back to school. Um, and as uh, I used to say at one time, I used to be ready to live the life of a party. And uh, enjoy yourself this week, stay out of trouble. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Two, two things before, I end, before the podcast is ended. Two things. The highlight of this podcast is that damn cricket in the background. Just let y'all know. That's the highlight of this podcast. First thing. Second <laughs> second thing is, more seriously, uh, and I always got to do this every time, but this is more. This is way more than usual. I'm going to shout out to Raymond and just tell him, I love you, man. Just, you know, 
you might be going you might be going through something or something might be going on that you not that you don't want to you, you might not want to know about and whatever like that but you just let you know you know my ass always here for you love you always brother brother for another mother all that stuff like that just let you know i'm always here for you and shit like that you need you get if your ass need to cry or whatever like that you, you know you don't really do that though but if your ass need to cry you know i got your ass and like I always say, say, you know, I love you and all that stuff like that. And that's all we have to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out Raymond, man. Yep. Throw that ass in a circle. What? Throw that ass in a circle. Okay, okay. Throw that ass in a circle. What? Throw that ass in a circle. What?